Hello all. Today we will be dealing with the topic ectopic pregnancy. So in this topic we will be dealing with four portions in today's class. So first is the definition of ectopic pregnancy. Next its sites of implantation. Third one its frequency or incidence. And fourth is the etiology of ectopic pregnancy. So four portions for the class, today's class. And uh, before moving on to the definition of ectopic pregnancy, we need to know what happens in a normal pregnancy. So, uh, in a normal pregnancy, the ovum, as we all know, the ovum gets fertilized in the ampullary part of the tube, ampullary part of the fallopian tube. So, the ovum which gets fertilized in the ampullary part of the uterine tube traverses down the tube and then gets implanted in the uterine cavity or gets implanted in the endometrium of the uterine cavity. So, this is what it happens in a normal pregnancy. The ovum uh, gets fertilized in the ampullary part of the fallopian tube, traverses down the tube into the uterine cavity and gets implanted in the endometrium of the uterine cavity. This is the case of a normal pregnancy. But in some cases, in some cases what happens is that the fertilization uh, the occurs in the tube but the implantation it may occur somewhere outside the uterine cavity. That is it, it doesn't occur in the endometrium of the uterine cavity but it occurs somewhere outside the uterine cavity and that is what we call it as ectopic pregnancy. So uh, the definition of ectopic pregnancy says that in an ectopic pregnancy, the implantation of the fertilized ovum takes place somewhere outside the uterine cavity and not inside the uterine cavity. So, this is what we call it as ectopic pregnancy.